And that brings us to Cordero Patterson, who, coincidentally or not, I mean, I don't think it, it is. wasn't a coincidence. I don't think it's, it's not a coincidence, coincidence right? Of course it's not. one of those things I wish I'd thought of. I wish I'd said, hey, Cordero Patterson is out there, and the moment they pass this kickoff, somebody's going to sign this guy. <laughs> I should have thought of that. Right. Because w- w- what happened? As soon as they pass it, the Steelers get on the phone and they sign him to a two-year deal reportedly worth $6 million to be their return specialist. And he's a guy who can do it all offensively. He fell off the map last year with the Falcons because they had Bijan Robinson, Tyler Algier. He wasn't returning kicks last year because there were no kicks to return. This is a guy with an NFL record, nine kick returns for a touchdown in his career. Yes, he's 33, but he can still get it done. We've seen it throughout the years with a variety of teams. He's been with the Vikings, the Raiders, the Patriots, the Bears, and most recently the Falcons. Now he's going to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. Another example, you know, Jerry Jones talks about going all in. Pittsburgh Steelers going all in. And this is going to be a pivotal part of the game now. And the first move the Steelers do right out of the gates is they go out and they get themselves one of the best return specialists who's ever lived. Yeah, I mean, it feels like they were just kind of waiting in the weeds for this. Get a feel. Is this going to get passed? If it definitely is. Hey, Arthur Smith, you know, you used to coach Cordero Patterson. You think he'd be good for us? Oh, yeah, he would. Okay, he's going to be great for the kick return. Let's sign him up. I mean, yeah, he's physical. He's fast. There's no nonsense in his game. He's the perfect guy, what you're talking about there. It finds one crack or one seam, and it's going to be watch out. So, yeah, I I think we'll see teams start to think about this, like you alluded to yesterday of, wait, this is a chance to really make a difference in the game and change the game. And we could, to like what you said a few minutes ago, we could we could have Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen and start the ball and start at the 40 or 45 every time. I mean, it's like one completion. We're in field goal range, guys. Great job. Great drive. We're putting points on the board. I mean, this is where, yeah, I think you're going to see teams really start to think about who they want back there and who they might want to sign on their roster just for this specific play. And look at it this way. If you don't have Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen, but you do have a great returner, this is a way. If the Chiefs and the Bills don't have a great return game ready to go, this is a way that you can balance it out a little bit because their drives are starting at the 25, 28, 30. Your drives are starting at the 35, 38, 40. That's a key distinction. One thing about the onside kick, too, because I Uh, my cousin asked about it generally. Obviously, the surprise onside kick is gone. The old kick formation will be utilized for onside kicks in the fourth quarter. You can do it twice. You have to be trailing twice per game. That's it. But it's not like all of a sudden those things are going to be recovered on a regular basis. They're just not. It It is a thin and flimsy opportunity for a team that is trailing to try to retain possession because of what they've done with the onside kick and the kick formation in recent years to make those collisions. Because those are closed space collisions, but those are ridiculously violent. I remember Chris Collinsworth from time to time complaining about how difficult that play was when he was playing. The impacts that you're talking about. You're watching the ball and guys are running at you full speed. And and they're trying to hit you as hard as they can to get the ball to pop out if you do get your hands on it. So it's a brutal play. It always has been. It stays in the game twice per game if you're trailing in the fourth quarter under and where the where does it go alignment. explain that to everybody right they're not going to kick so they're going to move the lines back to where the kick the kickoff you go is back at, to the old you go back way, to the 35 right okay yeah, you go back i just want to make that clear i didn't know that either yeah. i haven't re- i didn't read that part so i'm not even sure if i i realize that well and i need to go ahead and i'm as i'm saying i'm I, i'm having that moment of boy i, I think i, sure I know but i'm not right. sure <laughs> i hope right. this is right i'll just do the colin coward and act like it is right even if it's 180 degrees wrong oh i'm sorry colin coward catching a stray here today i, I but i you know i'm not going to sit here and act like i know with 100 percent certainly it's what i think right based upon what I the fact that well. there hasn't been there hasn't been Oh no, the onside kick is dramatically different. Oh no, this is pot- Oh no, hey, you know, it's just been onside kick is available for the team that's trailing twice per game, fourth quarter. That's what they're going to do and it's going to be what it's always been, or at least what it's been in recent years, which is something that doesn't work very often when it is a deliberate onside kick because it's hard to make the recovery because of the way they've positioned the bodies and you can't have those high impact collisions in a closed space like we've seen in the past. I still I still kind of like the four. I know you don't like the fourth and 20, 
I kind of like the fourth and 20. If we're going to if we're going to embrace chaos with this revolutionary kickoff return, I kind of like the fourth and 20. The Eagles proposed it again this year and it died again. I kind of like it. And maybe maybe in future years, the tinkering will involve that. Maybe, maybe. I'm not I haven't come around to that aspect yet, so I'm not I'm not ready to do that yet. I'm not, but uh, at the very at the very least, I'll I'll take the victory of at least we got kick returns again. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.